Okay, so here's the mini lesson. This mini lesson uh, has to do with vowels and consonants. And uh, as you may or may not have recognized, for us as singers, we use vowels and consonants no matter what language we're speaking in. There's going to be a physical uh, action that in your language represents the physical action of consonants or the physical action of vowels. The way to get a better uh, singing voice, in part, is to recognize the vowel sounds that are made for each note you're singing, because the notes of your melody align with the vowel sound of each word or syllable of each word. I'm going to give you a little short example. Um, so this is from the band Jars of Clay. You may be familiar with them. Uh, this is the hook of one of their songs, and it goes like this. Keep your eyes wide open. Keep your eyes wide open. Okay, so now I'm going to do it wrong. Keep your eyes wide open. <laughs> Please don't pass that around. <laughs> um, so, so, second example. I was closing into as many consonants as I possibly could. I can already feel my voice is a little, little uh, raspy from doing that. Why? Because it pulls on the muscles that have to do with the external muscles of the larynx within which your vocal folds and your voice vibrations occur, as well as pulling on the tongue, which pulls not only the larynx in a bad position for what has to happen inside, but it also changes the position of the vocal folds. So then you have to do something instinctively to uh, try to counteract that pull and you end up with what I call force counterforce. Um, this is a common source of off-pitch singing and is uh, also something that can tend to cause a lack of vocal tone, the kind of tone or strength you might be looking for. And I mean, it doesn't have to be a strong voice, even if you're going, Keep your eyes wide open. And you go, keep your eyes. Ay. So, okay, so the, the, the main thing is if you know that the first, here's one way of tracking it down. The first word in this phrase is keep. So the vowel sound, obviously, is E. Keep, and you're going to sing that E. E, next word. Yo, o is the vowel sound. The letters doesn't matter. What you're looking for is what is the actual heart of the vowel sound you want. And there's no right or wrong vowel sound pronunciation. It has to do with how you pronounce your words and how you want to sound style-wise in the song that you're singing. Because if we were doing that, let's say, um, country, I'm not much of a country singer, but Keep your eyes wide open. I would pronounce the vowels differently than if I was singing it a little more bluesy. Keep your eyes wide open, open, open. You can change tones. You can change vowel pronunciations. You just need to know what the vowel sound is. We are painters with sound. A painter needs to know about their colors so that the colors can be mixed by that painter to create the different shades and dimensions, shadows and lights. We use vowel sounds and a lot of our vowel pronunciations are combinations of like the word your. Keep your, your. If I start going into the R that pulls. Consonants constrict. They crush your vowels and constrict the muscles. Yo, oh, oh, for me, would be that particular vowel sound. Then 
eyes. So E Y E S ah uh, actually is going to have an ah uh sound. Eyes rather than eyes, eyes, eyes. Wa. There's another W I D E. That I is pronounced ah. Uh. Wide oh uh, uh, for o. Open. Try it out for yourself. Take a song, have the lyrics written out, and slowly say each word to recognize and discover what is the heart of that vowel sound without your mouth or internal mouth, the tongue, closing. When it's not closed, and you're, you're phonating, you're making the vibrational sounds of your voice for that word or syllable, you'll discover the vowel. Then sing it. It makes a huge difference. This also, what I'm telling you, uh, there's a lesson that you can find a little later on in the school that I'd like you to take a look at uh, as soon as possible. And it's in the Working with Style section. And it's specifically the lesson called Working with Shadow Vowels. And once you see it, you'll understand what the title means, Working with Shadow Vowels. Thanks. I look forward to your upcoming video exchanges and continuing to work with you here in my school.